Welcome to Serverless Expeditions, Luca. Thank you, Martin. Thanks for inviting me. Of course. So, Martin, I've heard up the grapevine that you're looking to explore CI/CD for serverless products in Google Cloud. Yep. Uh, to note, though, Luca, all of my code will eventually live in GitHub. So I need something that integrates well with GitHub and our other services. And the less code I have to write, the better. Got it. I could definitely relate. Sounds like a great use case for Google GitHub Actions. You mentioned GitHub Actions, Luca. How do they work? Sure thing, Martin. Let me show you a quick example. So here is a simple cloud function, Martin. It leverages GitHub Actions to automate unit tests and redeployments to GCP. I'll make a small change, deploy to the main branch, and let's see what happens. OK, Luca. Just going to add a quick comment to our serverless function here. And after saving, let's deploy this change. Since all of my CI CD steps live in GitHub Actions, I can watch each of them hopefully complete here. Very automated, Luca. I like it. Google GitHub Actions are pretty powerful, right? Yeah. Uh, but what about Cloud Build in Google Cloud? I've heard that we could just do the same thing like you did here in Google Cloud instead of in GitHub. Oh, yeah. There are so many ways you can accomplish CI CD. This is just one pattern. Let me ask you one question. You said you have a few different services. Do you mean across multiple cloud platforms? Exactly. Uh, they are across multiple cloud platforms. On Google Cloud, we have a cloud run service. And we also have a few services on other clouds. I see. As it relates to Google Cloud, is there a reason you are looking into a CI CD offering and not doing CD through the native cloud build integration? Yes, uh, we use the cloud build integration with source repos hosted in Google Cloud currently. However, we want to implement both CI and CD to orchestrate this across all our services and not just those in Google Cloud. Gotcha. That makes sense. I'd say if you're focused primarily on the Cloud Run service, then letting Google Cloud drive continuous delivery, as we mentioned here, would be an awesome option. Something else I'm curious about, Martin. Are you using a single monorepo for all of your services? Yep, we are. And that will all soon be up on GitHub. Perfect. Given that everything is consolidated into GitHub, you have services across a few different clouds, and there are CI steps to take before deployment, GitHub Actions would be a great fit. Sounds good. How do I get started, Luca? Sure thing, Martin. Let's jump into your monorepo on GitHub, and we can walk through a workflow with GitHub Actions. All right, uh, here is my source repo. And in this subdirectory, I have a simple Node.js service that I would like to redeploy to Cloud Run whenever new code is committed. And this service parses the sentiment of messages from a PubSub uh, push subscription. Uh, but anyway, how do I deploy my Cloud Run service here from GitHub? Great question. And we have a few options for you. If you already have gcloud deploy scripts you're using today, Google GitHub Actions team has pre-built actions that authenticate to Google Cloud and set up gcloud for you. Then you can take your existing deploy script and run it as a workflow step. Sounds convenient. Uh, but some of our team is not as familiar with a gcloud command line tool as I am. Uh, are there other options where you don't have to use that? Definitely. We have an even simpler solution, packaged actions for a variety of services that Google Cloud provides, like Cloud Run, GKE, and Cloud Functions. All you have to do is create a step, point it to this action, input the necessary parameters, and our action will do all the heavy lifting for you. That is just what we're looking for. OK, how can I get started with those packaged actions in GitHub that you mentioned? Uh, I see an Actions tab here. Is that a good place to start? Yep. Clicking on that tab will take you to the Actions Marketplace. Here you can find a plethora of starter workflow templates to bootstrap your CI CD. We have a few starter workflows readily available. Let's search for Cloud Run. That's awesome. And these GitHub Actions, Luca, they are managed by the Google Cloud team? Yep. They're all official Google Cloud integrations for the GitHub Actions marketplace. Definitely recommend to always check the source of the actions that you're using. In this specific case, the repo shows the organization has been verified as being from Google. Great. 
Okay, it looks like there is a deploy from source or deploy from Docker. Uh, eventually, we'll want to manage our own Docker file. But for now, I'll select the deploy from source option. Yep. Okay, great. Uh, let me click on that. Wow, it looks like a lot was generated for me. Yeah, the starter templates are great. Quick to get started, plus they will generate all of the directory and relevant workflow steps for you. I see. Uh, you mentioned workflow steps, Luca. Uh, can you walk me through the developer workflow here? Sure thing. At a high level, GitHub Actions is a way to do CI CD on GitHub. You don't write a bunch of code, it starts with a YAML file. Inside that YAML file, you will define activities that should occur based on events that can happen. For example, think about a common repo event, like when you push to a branch. You would have a series of steps that should happen, running unit tests, linting, and then a deployment. Got it. And all that that you mentioned, that is CI CD, right? Exactly. In GitHub terms, that series of steps define a workflow to execute. The YAML file is where you configure that workflow, and GitHub then automates that. Gotcha. This is very neat. OK, I see that the starter template tells me how to set up permissions and accounts in my Google Cloud project uh, to make this work. Yes, we want to make it as easy as possible for people to get started with our actions. Excellent. So Luca, I already have a service account with the required IAM permissions, and the relevant APIs are enabled as well. But I'm not familiar with the workload identity federation step here. Uh, what is that, and is it even required? No, it's not necessarily. Workload identity federation is more secure, and it works better with some org policies. But it requires a bit more setup. We can get you started with a simple service account key today. Let's talk about workload identity federation in a future episode. All right, Luca, that sounds good. Uh, I'll grab this service account key here then. Perfect. Uh, I have my service account key. Now, where can I securely store this in GitHub? So if you navigate to the repo settings page and click on Actions, we can securely store your credentials there. All right, I see. Thank you, Luca. Uh, I'll just uh, name this SA Creds for short. Great. Uh, so looking into the YAML file here, uh, it looks like there are a few environment variables I need. Uh, what are these? Are these the ones that, that I set with argument flags if I run gcloud run deploy? Exactly. These environment variables are going to be passed to the deploy cloud run action as inputs. We can hard code them in the action step as well, but it's nice to have them exported as environment variables at the top of the file for readability. Oh, OK. Uh, let me fill in those. All right. Thanks, Martin. Let's also comment out the workload identity federation auth step and use the service account auth step instead. Great. Uh, now, how does GitHub Actions reference the secret that we saved earlier? So any variables or secrets referenced in the workflow file, GitHub extends a variable syntax for. Let's look at a few examples. Got it. Uh, that's easy to pick up. Uh, let me make that change. SA creds. All right. Anything else before deploying here, Luca? The last step we will need to do is update the source input of the action to the relative path of our Node.js service. Ah, right. Uh, let me update that. And deploy. All right. So I have one question for you here, Luca. Uh, when this workflow is triggered, where are these operations being run? On whose server? Yep. Either it runs on a virtual machine that GitHub spins up for you, or one that you self-host. Ah, there's a self-hosting option, too. That is great. Ah, looks like my uh, Cloud Run service was deployed. Awesome. Let's quickly test it out in the Cloud Console. Great. I'm going to publish a brief message to the PubSub topic. Uh, let's see if the service can accurately assess the message sentiment uh, Luca, what do you think about pineapple on pizza? Hmm. In all honesty, Martin, I'm actually a big fan. Oh, uh, I might have other opinions about pineapple on pizza, but it looks like our service ran. Uh, good sentiment overall. This is great. It's pretty awesome, right? 
Yes, and the fact that I can have this as a build step without having to manage deploy scripts or have it run after my continuous integration, is very convenient. This fits all my requirements of being integrated with GitHub, other cloud providers, and Google Cloud, and most important of all, low code. Definitely agree. We want to make it as easy as possible for developers on GitHub to integrate CICD for GCP products. Great. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave a comment. And don't forget to tune in for the future video where we will authenticate our Google GitHub Action Workflow more securely with Workflow Identity Federation. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.